Hello. Nice day, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? This is swell. It's perfect. Just like you. Oh, shut up. You know, it's a lucky thing I didn't go out on my yacht today. I wouldn't have met you. Have you a yacht? Have I? A regular floating palace. You know, I had to put straps on it for people to hang on to. I have so many friends. I never heard of straps on a yacht. Well, you see, I got the idea when I was going to work every morning on the, on the subway to Wall Street. Are you in Wall Street? Am I? Say, I've got 80 acres right in the center of the financial district. Why, if it was out in California, I'd subdivide it. And I'd buy you the whole world. You're kidding. My name's Jim. What's yours? Mary. I'll bet it's Mary Smith. I'll bet it is. Well, Mary... You found your little lamb. Now I'm going to follow you wherever you go.
Gee, we're alone. And our day is almost over. Oh, it isn't over. It's just beginning. Or I'm going to make you a promise. Promise what? We'll never be lonesome anymore. If I had known when I first saw you that you were only a telephone operator instead of a swell, I'd have proposed to you right on the spot. And if I had known that you were just a punch broker, I, I would have accepted. Gee, it's funny how lonesome a fellow can be, especially with a million people around him. You know, you just can't be happy in a hotel room, especially when all your friends have homes and kitties. All my life, I've wanted a little white house out in the country with blue shingles. I don't like blue shingles. But you like the white house. And I'd paint the shingles any color you like. Lavender? Sure. Or pink? Oh, Mary. I'd rather have them blue. Then they'd be just the color of your eyes. Of course, you could have them black or brown or green or any color you like, just so long as you're there. Mary. Mary. Gee, that's a pretty name.
But, Sergeant, I... Calm yourself, baby. I'll get to you in a moment. Now tell me where you found it. A Jane was hurt down at the roller coaster. This monkey tried to run over me about it. Disturbing the peace, eh, kiddo? Oh, listen to me, Sergeant. That's what I was trying to tell this man. That it was my girl that was hurt. I was trying to get to her to help her. So it was your girl that was hurt, eh? What is her name? Mary, sir? Mary what? I... I don't know. You see, we only met today. Picked her up, eh? Oh, no, sir. You wouldn't say that if you saw her. She's not that kind of a girl. She's a good kid. A sweet kid. That ain't much of a description. You're officially charged with picking up girls and resisting arrest. Take him away. Oh, I wish I could make you realize, sir, that you've got to let me go. I don't know that girl's name, but I love her. And if I don't get to her, I'll lose her. And I'm going to marry her. If she'll have me. Dear me, isn't that thrilling? Do go on. Yes, I'll go on. And I'll tell you what I think of you. You don't know when a man's sincere and when he's not. And a great policeman you are. You're so used to dealing with lousy, rotten people. You're rotten yourself. Run along to your little Mary, Sonny. I hope you find him. <laughs> do, do you mean it? Sure I mean it. Don't mind me. I'm just playful today. Now, run along. Thanks. As for you, you big ham, you go jump in the lake. <laughs> hey, you go jump in the lake. <laughs> Thank you.